Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three different Lego hidden side sets for 2020. This is El Fuego's stunt plane. This is welcome to the hidden side. And then this was a gift with purchase in January and it's just called Drag Racer. It's trying to introduce a lot more people to the theme. I wanna start with welcome to the hidden side, not because of its name being a good way to start out a video, but because it's so different, it's, it's truly unique. It's not like anything that they've done in the Hidden Side theme up to this point, year one or year two. You see that basically what you have here is a tree. It's a haunted tree. Looks like it's at night. And then you've got a little entrance way that's a man-made uh, man uh, old tunnel. Uh, maybe it's old, maybe it's not too old, but it does appear that the tree has grown all over it. But the colors are all done up the way that they are because this is intended to be a view of the hidden side itself. There's no transformation feature for the tree to show, well, basically to reveal its, its possession. You're looking at this from the perspective of a ghost or from the perspective of someone who is living in the hidden side, who's actually in that dimension. So it's kind of like in the app game that goes with these sets where you can be a ghost hunter where you're just a normal person and you see things in normal colors and you try to search around and find ghosts and ghostly things. Or you can play as a ghost, in which case you are trying to haunt things and you're trying to defeat regular humans. So we have just a regular human figure. Uh, this main character here has not been turned into a ghost. The colors, the color grading that they've done to him, just like they've done to the rest of the set, is because you're looking at this from just a different perspective. And I like that. I like that idea. And I think that they've done a pretty good job here with the high contrast and the choice of colors. And it's nice to, to not have something that just completely transforms and has a huge mechanism that takes up a ton of space to switch into a, a possessed form. All that we have here in this set for a uh, an action feature is just that right there in the mouth, there's basically a hopper that contains a bunch of stuff that can be dropped out. So uh, does it, I thought it went out. So there we go. It goes forward this way. So yeah, <laughs> it's not particularly wonderful, but throws a couple of spiders at you. And also another thing that got thrown out was a bat. So that one just kind of fell back here. Just a single regular old Lego bat. So you just load those up in the hopper and as you walk through, they get thrown at you. you know, that's that. Uh, the other thing that you can actually interact with here, the other main thing you interact with is just one of the, the ghost hunter devices and that's important for the app in general. This is basically showing just a little bit of a rip or a tear of reality where you're seeing our world, the real world, the normal world. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is what normal people would see and it's for us actual real people to interact with, to change to the different colors when they prompt you to in the app. So you switch to different modes and look for different types of ghosts. They also have these couple of, of tree root limbs that can be flipped up. So there's one over here, flip that up and it reveals the yellow and with later gameplay and optional add-ons, not talking about DLC, just other things that you can unlock as you go through and also as the development team decides to add new things. There are no microtransactions in this. I just want to be very clear, or excuse me, in the app. I want to be very clear about that. But these are just additional places where reveals can occur. So they just have a little bit of color that shows. And well, that's just that. Around the back, there's not much else to see. So let's just move on to the figures. So looking at the figures up close, that's Jack on the left. And it's just a regular Jack, but viewed from the hidden side. So viewed through the eyes of a ghost or through the eyes of someone who, who is possessed and attached to the hidden side. Just uh, color graded for us. And on the right is Axel Chops. I love it when Lego releases a figure that could feasibly be just a different version of another regular minifigure. You know, you can clearly see the, the connections to normal life there. And uh, that specter piece that they have for legs is continuing to work out fantastically well. It was first introduced, I believe it was, for uh, Nin was it Ninjago or one of the 
collectible minifigure series. It was very close to each other the same year, I believe. But uh, they've been around for some years, and they just keep doing different colors. And I think they look great. I think that's just a great piece that adds to anything. <laughs> Anytime that it's used appropriately. And then underneath, there is an alternate face for Jack. No alternate face for Axel Chops. But that's okay. It's a transparent piece that does look pretty cool. Here's what that looks like completely unobscured. Of course, Jack has his smart device to do his remote ghost hunting, and Axel Chops has an axe. These two ghosts are almost identical, except for their face prints, and they are unique characters, actually. The one on the left is Waylon, and on the right is Scrimper. Everything else is the same other than the face print. Again, using those nice leg specter pieces, ghost pieces, and transparent heads. Yeah, you can see the opaque body part coming up in there for the neck, but uh, I think it's okay. A little black bit on the front that acts as a marker for the machines. It doesn't bother me that much on, on these. I feel like it adds a little bit of extra contrast as viewed from the front. Maybe if you focus on it a little bit, you know, for a while, it can start to bug you and they're not going to be 100% consistent. But overall, I think that these look just fine. Uh, do note, if you're not familiar with Hidden Side, that the colors do not denote uh, rank. They're just different kind of like sub-elements of ghoulishness. There's a surprisingly low volume of spare parts for this set, given the size of the actual build, and the sticker sheet, when spent, shows that it's trying to look like a face. This set retails for $20 US for a little less than 200 pieces, and for the amount of stuff that you get here, with the number of figures and everything, I think that's a fair price. I don't have any better suggestion off the top of my head for a price for it. It just kind of makes sense for what all is here, I would say. Yeah, and you know, I like the set. I think it's cool. I do like the figures, but they're not for everybody. Um, you know, this, this alternate version, just having like a, a nighttime version, a color graded version of a figure is a really cool idea, as it is for the rest of the set. But, you know, the ghoul figures, you know, aren't going to fit in with everybody's desires, you know. Even if maybe this part does, in, in some ways, if you want to have like a, a dark corner of a little diorama or something. And it's very easy to leave off the, the normal world stuff, the, the ghost hunter stuff on the side. So just overall, I think it's pretty successful. I think that the uh, bat and spider dump is not particularly successful. I didn't even fall out that time. So that's a little bit lame, but otherwise, I mean, it's not like you pay a lot for just that feature. Otherwise, it's just pretty well done. 20 bucks is fine. The first thing I thought when I saw El Fuego's stunt plane was, oh no, El Fuego is dead. That's horrible. They actually included a skeleton of him in the set, but don't worry. He's a master showman. I am sure that there's an explanation, and I'm sure that he is perfectly fine, even though he is apparently a skeleton. Uh, and there is no full version of him in the set, so there's no reveal or anything. And the skeleton of him is intended to actually be in the cockpit. But again, don't worry. He's a master showman. I'm sure everything is okay. I want to focus on the plane itself, though, of course. Uh, I use this term every once in a while of uh, genuine Lego build. This feels like a very genuine Lego build. Uh, the way that it went together, uh, kind of like a like a creator build, to be honest with you, more than some of the the lower end sets. You know, it's it's parts that just go together in in a most wholesome way that you kind of expect. There's there are no major pre-built parts. You know, there's no like plain chassis, and plain fuselage main part underneath here. There's no huge panel piece or anything. I mean, you've got some decently large roof pieces used for the wing surface, but there's additional building underneath. And also there is one wing, excuse me, one wheel cover piece that's used at the back of the engine. It's trying to look like a, a radial engine, and that's a pretty nice design. And it's a pretty good integration of the hidden side mechanism to show different colors. So you rotate all of this and look on the top there. Oops, there we go. It'll reveal, 
there's the coral, there's the yellow, and there's the medium azure. And then you just put it away and you don't even see it. I love that. The fact that it hides away completely. That's what I always want to see. Need to loosen. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I need to loosen this up a little bit so that the propeller can still turn and it's not turning particularly well. That's ah, just luck of the draw there. But I like this build for the radial engine. It looks like it has a good amount of detail because you can see the inside, uh, basically the back of the large wheel cover down in there gives additional details. But what I don't like here is that these parts can easily be pushed in. That kind of represent cylinder head fins or something like that. They can be pushed in, so you need to be careful with those. That's a little bit annoying. Also, the wings are not the most durable things. Uh, they don't feel particularly durable. And definitely, if I squeeze these the wing tips over here, it's starting to, starting to peel up starting to peel up under there. So that's not good. Basically, this whole thing feels to me like more of an advanced set, more of a, a teen and adult collector set, in spite of the theme, uh, just the way that it's built. It feels like it's designed by a Lego creator team designer. I don't mind that myself, but I don't know if it's the best thing for the core audience, you know, for a younger Folks, look at the level of detail under here with the the nice exhausts that have the, the candle pieces, the candle flame pieces to give just a little bit of subtle flame coming out the the tailpipes there. And beyond that, I mean, this thing is fairly solid. Again, with the genuine building that's that's used for it. You know, there's not a lot of hollow space in the fuselage. It's fairly heavy. You have some areas that you can open up to expose the yellow color over there. Expose the yellow color over there, you know, for scanning things into the app. It's a little bit blocky with the, the tail feathers, especially the vertical stab, but it's okay. It's not bad. I like the shaping. And the idea is that you have a tail gunner who you could put in. would be able to fire the, the stud shooter. And there's a space for that person to fit in the cockpit. And the pilot also gets the flight stick there in the front. And there's additionally uh, space up out here on the wing where you can attach a person who can be doing stunts or they can just be helping to take down ghosts by, again, firing the stud shooters. And there's one additional thing over here on the side looking from the front. That is actually a seat piece with a sticker on it, sticker on the back of it. And looking around at this side, Another little reveal that can occur right there. You just pull this out and it reveals red. So it's just another color and another place for the app to scan things in, but it's integrated in decently well. I mean, that one's a little bit more visible. I personally just really like this at the front because I mean, that's really, really bright, really stands out, but that is almost completely hidden away. Just like I want it, just like I want it to be, you know, I don't want those sort of action features to, to scream at you. They don't need to. You know that they're there. You built the thing. So let this look nice. And I think it does look pretty nice. It's easy to take the hidden side stuff out of it visibly by just removing a couple things from the wings. So here are Jack and the skeletal version of El Fuego. Again, don't worry. El Fuego is not actually dead unless you want him to be. It's entirely up to you to make that decision. But, you know, that can just represent a plastic skeleton with El Fuego's helmet on that he just put into the cockpit and he's remotely flying the thing or something like that. Uh, Jack, of course, comes with a mobile device and, well, there's not really that much else to see here. There's not a lot of variation for Jack. There's his alternate face. No alternate face for the skeleton, but an interesting face for the, the main one. It has the smiling expression and also the bandage to try to sell the whole thing. This is a far more interesting figure. It's Mary Breaksome. That's her, her official name. And she has this huge jetpack on, a flight suit. So she is a daredevil, evidently with El Fuego's group. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a single sticker there on the back. But most of this is just built up with, again, that, you know, that, 
that nice genuine building experience it's nice to build things up rather than just having a single large molded part i appreciate that especially for minifig accessories it's just fun the colors are uh, well they are what they are they're uh, a little old with the, the teal and the purple there but it works for what it's trying to do and with everything unobscured you can see more of that print for the torso especially that looks pretty good good facial expression better one here just uh, a little bit more expressive in my opinion and a good matching torso print on the back the set also includes an entire alternate head piece so that mary can get maybe possessed while mid-air or something like that and you're intended to leave the helmet on and also the suit as well but you've seen the suit by now that is that also included is spencer the friendly ghost dog just a single piece for that one and it's molded in marbled uh, well dual molded in marbled clear and white together no two of them will be identical but they tend to be fairly close this one has lots of spare parts thanks mostly to this ghostly ghoulish blast and splat part set that they include and it's entirely optional you can use it however you want you know some of these pieces attach to the hands of minifigures some of them just have bar attachments that will work with anything this one also has a stud basically an anti-stud if i can just get it to pop up there we go anti-stud in the middle so anything that is a stud will fit right into that you know snap right in and you also get some extra studs for the stud shooter one of these nice little bits in dark azure and a candle piece and yeah lots of stickers for this set okay so this one costs 30 dollars us and it has 295 pieces so the price to part ratio is right where you want to see it and it does have some decently large pieces so it's not like the price to part value or, or number is artificially boosted you know made to to look way better because it has lots and lots of one by one stud pieces in it or anything like that uh but I struggle with this one a little bit because objectively I can totally see $30 worth of Lego stuff there between the figures. Uh, the figures are a little bit weak. I mean, this, this one's really cool, but the others aren't that great. But just the amount of stuff that's here, and especially if you put it in, in the hand and actually hold it, you can feel the weight. And having built it, I know what all went into this. And it, it's pretty proper. Uh, but I'm just going to say subjectively, I don't even have a good defense for this perspective, but I would like to see it at $25. I just, for some reason, I don't feel, I don't feel $30 here and I don't know why. There's just something, it's just a feeling and I, I just can't properly explain it. Nope. If it looked a little bit better, if it looked a little bit more realistic, maybe i would feel that. i mean it's not that it's not that difficult to take the ghost hunting stuff off of this is it the color scheme that's throwing me off is it the cockpit area did it need something else there no it doesn't i don't know it's just a feeling 30 dollars totally makes sense i would like it to be 25 no more the drag racer again was a gift with purchase promotional set and it's fairly substantial for one of those i mean yeah they sometimes make big things but i mean this only required i think it was a 30 dollars purchase in lego stores to get this from any theme you know it didn't have to be hidden side stuff the idea here was to get more people who are not familiar with hidden side to try the app because you can actually scan this in even though it's a small thing even though it's a, a promotional item it's not like a, a poly bag that just comes with a figure and a small build this is a proper build that will actually scan and allow you to to try everything out so front engine dragster type thing and uh looks looks a little weird especially because of this now you well i wanted to look at this as like a rocket or a jet booster but it's not it's just a cannon it's a man cannon so i will go ahead and put the rider figure in there this feels so wrong but yeah it actually works you know pops them out you can change the angle of the thing 
if you want to, and that's just the general idea. This has just a single seat, which makes sense. Got the flame uh, coming out each of the, the headers there. It's like it's a four-cylinder. It's a V4. Really funky. Don't know what's going on with the lights in the front. With the bone behind there, bones on the sides. I don't mind the nose of it. Maybe it's a little bit blocky, but the overall shaping is respectable, I think. I do wish that this looked a little bit more like a vintage dragster, a vintage front engine top fuel dragster with the larger wheels and tires more forward, you know, with the, the driver actually hanging off the back behind the axle. I think pushing it more in that direction would have made it more interesting. And then you could just leave the cannon off if you want. It desperately needs a parachute though, so badly. I mean, I guess, no, not seeing anything that could even be imagined to be a, a parachute. But here's the big transformation for this one to show that it actually becomes uh, possessed. It gets eyes. There you go. Those big old inverted two by two printed pieces that were made just for this theme. I think they look pretty good. It's interesting, I guess. Hey, maybe those are your air brakes. But, you know, I actually like the, the proportions of the thing better like this. So maybe turning those around would be a good idea if you want to just have something that looks like a respectable fantasy drag racer. The figures are Jack, of course, one of the main characters, and then a recurring character from last year, Dwayne of the Hairs of Havoc motorcycle gang, uh, gang came with the El Fuego stunt truck set, if I remember correctly, in just a normal form and also could be possessed. So in this set, you only get them possessed. There is no regular head to go with it. I am glad that this set also includes an alternate version of, of Jack's headgear piece. So he's hood down and has the, the cap on backwards. That's a new mold. And yeah, it's just nice to get something different. They do not have the normal version, the hood up version, but I like the hood piece and I hope that they make that hood piece in different colors. A lot of different colors, especially black. For me, yes, I'm being absolutely selfish with that. <laughs> Cause I just think it's a really cool piece and uh, yeah, it's useful. It's uh, kind of like flexible too, to keep it from breaking too easily. There's the alternate face, no alternate face for the possession head on the right, because they're just showing you some extra detail. And there's the rest of the print on the back of Jack's torso. And finally, a look at all of the spare parts for the drag racer. Obviously I can't really talk about value with a gift with purchase promotional set. But uh, again, this one was, I believe, given away with purchases over $30 US and might have been 35 or something, but it was fairly low. And if this was sold at retail, which I mean, it's, it's retail packaging, you know, it's got the code on and everything. I mean, this could yet be sold just like this, but I would expect it to be like 10 to $15 US. Not sure which is better. I would Certainly prefer 10 bucks myself, but it is a little bit on the large side for a $10 set. I'd probably sell it for 15 and I would say it should be cheaper, <laughs> but uh, it's free. So yeah, can't really talk about value, but uh, as for the thing itself, it doesn't impress me that much, to be honest with you. I wish that it was different, but little modifications make it much better, like taking this off. Flipping those side things around, I think, makes it much more interesting, much more cool. I really feel like they sh they should have leaned way into the 1960s horror dragster kind of kind of thing with with this. That would have made it much more interesting. Just wouldn't have taken too much more effort, but probably would have required more parts, and then that would have busted the budget for a, a freebie. So again, it's free, so really can't complain. There's a real-time build video for all three of these sets, and there's a speed build video for all three of these sets. Check out one of those if you would like to on the respective channels linked from the end screen and also from the video description. And I'll talk to you again here very soon.